Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. Malik Berry and Ruga team up for new single, Lately. Thames bring our star on stage at recent show in New York. Rihanna appears to ignore former pal Naomi Campbell in viral video from New York Fashion Week. Neiman Marcus and Christian Louboutin come together on a collection of Leopard print shoes and bags. And Rihanna shines bright like a diamond in crystal mesh alaya dress as she steps out at New York Fashion Week. And on our trending segments, Nigerian music stars Malik Berry and Ruger have joined forces for a captivating new single titled Lately. It marks the first collaboration between the two super talented artists and has the required ingredients to become a hit. Both Malik Berry and Ruga bring their unique styles to the table, creating a harmonious sound. I am not in a relationship type of guy, but I get select to try. I'm wondering, don't know how I go there, baby can I stop here? Ruga's lyrics paint a picture of a man who has been captivated by a woman he can't resist. While Malik Berry's smooth vocals give direction to the track. Girl. I think it's actually a very sweet collaboration. I, I haven't heard from Malik, Malik Berry in a very long time. Oh, I don't, know, I don't know. know. I actually don't know what he has been up to, yeah. but I think this is a very sweet collaboration. Yeah, I think I'm You love excited. Ruga, right? I love, you know, I love Ruga. <laughs> I love Ruga too. Ruga. Yeah, I love Ruga. I love Rema. I don't know why Ruga, you know, left his um, record, record label. label. Yeah. I don't know what But happened. I think he's actually still doing well for himself, mm -hmm. even aside that. But what do you think about the collaboration? I though? think it's great. Um, Malik mm -hmm. Berry hasn't been out for a while, so I think this will really actually bring him out again. Because mm -hmm. you know he's had hits in the past. Past. So yeah. I think him doing this collaboration with Ruga, I think both of them have sweet voice, so I mm -hmm. think it's gonna, it's gonna it's give. Really melodious. I yeah, think that's melodious. what I'm gonna call it. Really <laughs> melodious song. So we're looking forward to it. And on our sports segment, talented Nigerian singer Thames brought her colleague Arya Star on stage for a surprise performance. The two superstars performed together in New York as part of Thames' ongoing tour. Thames, who is currently on tour in America, also brought American musicians J. Cole, John Legend, and others to the stage. However, the highlight of her New York performance was when she invited her Nigerian colleague, Arya Starr, on stage to perform one of her songs. In a viral social media video, the duo were applauded by the audience as they performed together, highlighting their friendship and support for each other. Tams and R Star are among Nigeria's most successful global exporters with music that has earned them numerous honors and millions of admirers. Talk I, about girl power. I, love it. I, I love saw it. the video and I was just blushing. I was yeah. like, oh my goodness. Our star's you grown. Know, yeah, she has grown. And then Thames also, you know, Thames was an artist that when she came out, people didn't really appreciate the kind of sound that she put out. Yes. But now I think one thing about Nigerians is once international people begin to appreciate your and music. Accept you. That's when accept. Nigerians will now be like, hey, we know her, she's our thing. She's our person. It's, I hate that it's about It's crazy. Us. It's yeah. crazy. But then I'm so happy that I'm seeing two women, you know, doing so well yes. in the industry yes. and taking our song yes. to the global scene. Yes. You know, really female artists mm -hmm. are not really valued in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and I'm so happy that. Yeah. Why did it have to even take for international recognition? Recognition for together. them. I don't like that, but I'm just yeah. happy that mm -hmm. they're putting us in the map and they're really, yeah. really setting the pace for yeah. women. Mm -hmm. and I just hope other women are able to get up there, not just yeah. them. You know, sometimes yeah. women in the industry, when they're up there, they leave it there. They don't yeah, allow other people. Well, you, you don't know to be honest a lot of women face challenges it's not easy yeah. to be a woman and an artist Definitely. in nigeria and in africa Definitely. so that's why a lot of them take it to the international scene and then they make it there and yeah. then before you know it everybody widely accepts yes, them yes, so yes. i think that's the thing but then i also love the fact that they love each other yes. terms and area they've been and showing not, us it love fake, right no it's not yeah. do you know why because they've linked up several times yeah. they've even done tiktok videos their tiktok videos are just so cute mm -hmm. and so seeing this collaboration now on stage during terms you know yes. um own performance is really really good i, I love, love to it. see it i love yes. to see girls doing big things yes. so women power. yeah yeah women power girl power <laughs> and on to our editorial segment rihanna seemingly ignored her former friend Naomi campbell in a viral video from new york fashion week shared on social media friday in the video which was posted by a fan on x the umbrella singer entered the alaya runway show to find a front row seat all eyes were on her as she dazzled in a crystal covered mesh gown by the designer she could be seen greeting former british vogue editor-in-chief Edward Emingful before carrying on and completely ignoring Campbell, who was also sitting in the front row alongside stylist Law Roach. The supermodel appeared to be watching Rihanna make her grand entrance as she looked up to her. Girl. I actually saw that scene. I know you know, what when what happened? <laughs> <laughs> because when when Rihanna first walked in, everywhere was like dead 
silent. silent. I don't know why. I think she because she, maybe she didn't come as early as other people because yes. other people were seated when she walked in. So everywhere was so dead silent. And then when Rihanna was just walking up, Naomi was there. And Naomi actually like gave her face like, let's greet each other. Oh, Rihanna yeah. just behaved as if so Naomi is not even <laughs> like... But why do you think Rihanna would it's do because, that to Naomi? It's because yeah. of word on the street. Mm -hmm. This is the intel. Yeah. Word on the street is mm -hmm. that when Rihanna was dating that billionaire, remember Gong Gong Gong? Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, Naomi was also dating that billionaire then. So two of them are sharing so the man. So they were sharing the man. Then, I don't know if it was Rihanna was dating him first or she was dating Naomi first. Oh, Something gee, happened. Yeah. So that's when their friendship actually kind of hit rock oh, because of a man. Because they know that they were cool together, you know? What man will not put between I us girls? <laughs> Don't say you hate men. I hate men. No, come on. Right. You're dating someone. I am dating someone. He's not a man. Yeah, but, hey, your dad but is but also a man. Though. I know. I think it's we women, to be honest. For me, I don't think a man should be able to put two girls at... Collect what you want to collect. And now, go. Be playing him. The two of us, <laughs> babe, which one have you done this week? I you swear, know, I do swear. your thing and leave him and go and find I someone. Swear, you don't yeah. need to allow a man put, you know, two girls apart, all Rihanna of that. Is savage. Yeah, she is really sad. But I think every girl will be sad. Come on, but if you're the Campbell one. But is the yeah. kind of person that I know that she, mm -hmm. she shows her attitude. She And I'm, I wonder how she felt being dissed by Rihanna. Uh, uh, well, it really depends on the circumstances of things. If it was this man thing. Naomi does not have time. She, I mean, from one billionaire to the next. next There's no billionaire. time. She doesn't, she's not that type that will be holding a yeah. man, you know. She just collects what she wants to go and then she leaves. So I don't think that would really be the reason. But she, I mean, she said hello. So saying, exactly. Though. If Rihanna, well, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. And Rihanna's then, married now with Asap Rock. Exactly. She allow Let's it even. go. Yeah. yeah. But then they also say Naomi has mean girl energy. I don't know if I believe that, that. Also, yeah. I believe that. They say she has mean girl energy. Yeah. But I mean, whatever. They should just resolve. He's a man, please, guys. We are over that. This is 2024. And on our new collection, Neyman Marcus and Kristen Louboutin have come together for an exclusive collection of animal print shoes and bags for men and women. The duo's new Animalia collection spans 19 pieces including 7 women's looks, 6 handbags, 4 men's shoes, 1 men's leather good and 1 men's hat. Standout pieces include the Vibella 85 Pump and Saweetie Jane Flat for women, the Penny Loafer and Louis Jr. Spike sneakers for men, as well as the Kabata Tote and Lee 54 Tote. According to the Dallas-based luxury retailer, the collection will be available at 35 Neiman Marcus stores and on the retailer's website. I love Neiman Marcus. I used to work there. Oh, really? Yeah, I worked at oh. Neiman Marcus. I love working there. And What's their brand all about? Um, Neiman Marcus, they have their own personal brand, but they also sell other people's brands. So it's like a okay, luxury, okay. luxury, luxury department store. Department store, store, yeah. store or... it's, it's higher than um, Macy's. It's mm -hmm. higher than Dillard's. Mm -hmm. It's up there with Nordstrom. You know mm -hmm. Nordstrom, yeah. yeah. So I love Neiman Marcus. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I, mm -hmm. I'm really not very familiar with that's the brand, the so I don't really know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they don't have like any branches here in Africa? No, 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 no. Just in the States. Strictly in the States. Okay, that's cool. And on a spicy or not, Rihanna is shining bright like a diamond. On Friday, September 6, the Savage and Fenty mogul dressed to impress as she made an appearance on the front row at the Elias show at New York Fashion Week, wearing a dazzling crystal-covered mesh dress by the designer. Rihanna's glittering outfit featured draping sleeves and an off-the-shoulder corset top as she teamed the summer sheer look with a pair of matching stiletto heels for the event, which was held at the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum. I think Rihanna looked really stunning in this outfit. Yes, she did. Like she slays all the time. I love her hair, I love the makeup, I love the shimmery dress. I love Rihanna. And one thing about Rihanna mm -hmm. is she loves comfortability. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that when she walked into the stage, that whole fur coat thing, she's mm -hmm. like, I saw the video, I'm like, this girl is so sassy. I love <laughs> so her. Sassy. I love but her. yeah, the outfit looked really good. Mwah. She looks really beautiful. Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye.